Uh, hello everyone, my name is Vlastimil Mansel and I am from the Brno University of Technology. And I'm here today to tell you something about my submission to this students' conference concerning the uh, exploration of the chat GPT capabilities uh, for creating some measuring applications in LabVIEW. Uh, before I begin, let me introduce you to the content of my presentation. Uh, at the beginning, I will tell you something about my motives, why I even concluded this research. Then I will tell you something about the desired application I wanted, wanted from GPT to help me build. After that, I will move to some general prom prompts, and if they uh, were successful or not, then something about detailed prompts, and I will conclude the presentation with results and the conclusions. So, uh, why have I even concluded this uh, research? Uh, one day, when I was uh, teaching my students how to program in LabVIEW, I wondered if uh, me and my colleagues ever come across the similar problem with plagiarism uh, like our colleagues which uh, who are teaching the text-based uh, programming languages. As we know, the uh, chat GPT can be used to generate some kind of codes. It has its flaws, but generally it can be used uh, quite successfully and it creates all kind of problems. So I was wondering uh, if we will come across the similar problems. And then I was wondering what are the capabilities of the ChatGPT uh, in creating programs uh, in visual-based uh, languages. So uh, before I began to experiment, I uh, needed to create the uh, application specification, what I want to create with the ChatGPT. Um, I took an inspiration from the project we uh, demand from our students. So it's a simple project for the logging uh, application. The application only measures some uh, voltage input and uh, log them uh, in some file. Uh, this uh, application is based on the event uh, driven state machine, so it has a few states. The states that are important are the init measure, then uh, starting the measure, reading the data, analyzing them, and uh, then making the uh, measure to stop. So the specification was to create an application for measuring uh, voltage input and to analyze the input. Uh, what was the input? The input was uh, two squared uh, signals. Uh, this was uh, something to uh, simulate a simplif simplified incremental rotary motion sensor. So the analysis which uh, had to be concluded was to uh, know which direction the uh, rotor is uh, rotating. So uh, the ChatGPT had to create the application to uh, sense the, uh, the direction of the uh, rotation and to log the data. So I began to ask the ChatGPT to help me create this kind of application. I started with some uh, general prompts uh, and I also, I forgot to mention that I used the free version of the ChatGPT 3.5. And the first question was quite general. To use even the Riven State Machine template to create an LabVIEW app for acquiring signal from two analog inputs measuring voltage. Uh, the ChatGPT was willing to help me, but as you can see, it was for no use because the picture was unavailable. I then uh, tried, tried it multiple times differently and with the same results. 
So uh, the ChatGPT was unable to generate me a picture of a program, which is something that I expected. So I asked him to help me create the app. So to create me a step-by-step -step tutorial uh, to create such program. Again, the uh, prompt was quite uh, general. So I asked him to help me build only the measurement part with the template of a simple state machine. Uh, it was again willing to help me and a few first points uh, were uh, quite promising. But uh, as, we, as, you, as we can see, in the fourth point, uh, it advised me to right click on the block diagram and navigate to structures and add state machine to a state machine structure. There is no such function, it just made up words. So this kind of step by step uh, tutorial was also a failure. Uh, I tried it multiple times and I tried it even uh, more uh, detailed prompts and I uh, several times I tried to ask him how to even uh, how to compute the frequency from a squared signal. It advised me several times to use uh, analog to digital functions so to use uh, the uh, digital palette. Uh, the ones who you work with Labu know that the digital palette is not ideal. So I wanted to not use the digital palette. Even if I stated that in my prompt, the uh, ChatGPT still wanted me or uh, it, it forced me to use the analog to digital. So these kind of prompts were also for no use. Uh, and then I moved to some even more detailed prompts. So I just asked uh, ChatGPT if or how can I compute the frequency of a square signal using various functions and techniques in LabVIEW. And now the response was quite uh, usable. It advised me to use frequency measurements Express VI those Express VIs are uh, not existing, so the first point is still a failure, but the rest of the points uh, are usable. The zero crossing detections is quite common to use as uh, the, for computing the frequency of a square signal, then fast Fourier transform, and also the period measurement. If you combine the zero uh, crossing detection and the period measurement, then you can create a successful application. But it has not advised me how to concretely uh, connect the uh, functions in the LabVIEW to create the program. It just gave me an idea how can I uh, program this uh, problem or how, how can I solve the problem. So uh, the next detailed prompts I, I have is uh, or where, uh, what function can I use for uh, changing zero crossing to arbitrary level crossing detection. Uh, I was just wondering if it uh, will stick to the zero crossing or it can help me to uh, change it to the arbitrary level crossing. And now if you can uh, look to the step by step, it's now more concrete and something that I could even use in my LabVIEW program uh, to detect the uh, uh, zero crossing or an arbitrary level crossing. It advised me to use greater or equal, which are existing functions and this could be seriously uh, applicated to my uh, uh, program. I, even this answer had some issues. For example, as you can see in uh, here, uh, the function crossing is also non-existing in LabVIEW. So, uh, 
another prompt I used was what function should I use for custom voltage level crossing detection with hysteresis because the hysteresis is something needed when uh, dealing with the detection of edges or something like that. So it advised me the function hysteresis threshold which is not exactly existing but it led me to the discovery of another function which could be used and that's the threshold uh, detector. So uh, here is the result. The uh, ChatGPT was unable, unable to help me create the application on my own. It has not led me to uh, put something somewhere and to connect some wires. I had to do it on my own. It only helped me to find the keywords so I could understand what can I use to solve my problem. It was uh, some kind of advisory. Uh, and this is the result, it's the core of the uh, detection of the edges. It's no nothing groundbreaking, it's just a simple program. And uh, around this uh, heart of the program was the state machine to uh, lock and measure the uh, voltage or the squared signal. The rest of the program was, again, nothing special. It's something common, so I have not included this in my presentation. So, uh, what can we say as a conclusion? The chat GPT, uh, as a whole, is not something special. It can be uh, useful as any tool, but as of now, it was no better than someone knowledgeable uh, who I could ask to help me. And uh, it was no better than forums or searching in Google for answers. Also, the LabVIEW has a very great uh, help on itself and the help was more helpful than the ChatGPT. But what we can say, that the chat GPT can help you if you don't know anything or if you are lost in your thoughts and you want to something to uh, to some some kind of launch pad to uh, make something or to start somewhere it can help you to find the keywords which then can be uh, found elsewhere or the chat GPT can help you even understand those keywords but as uh, of now, the ChatGPT is not capable of programming on its own in LabVIEW and uh, the advices are not precise and can be used only by experienced developer. So thank you for your attention and if you have any questions, I will gladly answer them. So thank you for your presentation and any questions? Uh, no, this was simply some kind of uh, mental ex uh, exercise for me. I have not concluded more uh, deep, deep uh, research in this area. Great, I will uh, look into it. Thank you. Mr. Dressler, other question? Well, uh, 
Yes, I think that it, I would force it to uh, form some kind of text-based program. It would be better. But uh, this was uh, seriously just a mental exercise to see if the ChatGPT can even work with a uh, visual uh, way or in a visual uh, language. Thank you. So some other questions, last one. Last chance to ask now. Next questions during the coffee break. Okay, thank you for your presentation.